All right, this is John Rudy with Rudy Racing, and today we're checking antifreeze. And sometimes you have trouble getting the cap off, or there's even ones that are held in by bolts, and that's what that's for. This is an antifreeze checker, and uh, you put your coolant in there, you suck it up out of the radiator with your bulb, then you set it up right, and you take your reading and you squeeze it back into the radiator when you're done. This is the General Motors truck here. And I believe it's a 1940. I noticed they don't call it GMC, they call it General Motors truck at this time period. And it checks to minus 40. Then we got a case tractor here. I couldn't figure out a number on this, but it's the farm hand. And it was good to minus 45. Then over here we have the Ford 600 truck for hauling grain. I guess this is a two ton truck. That checked a minus 45. Now when you're checking these, you got to keep in mind that water floats to the top. So if you, you're checking something that hasn't been, that has been sitting still for a long period of time, you may be checking the water floating at the top. And the other dip, uh, reason I bought antifreeze is because some of these weren't full enough to check. Some took more than a gallon. Okay, and then, let me see, this is the, must be your John Deere, no, Case 400, and it checked a minus 30, Case 400. And over there we have the McCormick Deering, which this is an old tractor, it's a 1020. It does run. We've got all the correct decals on it. It's had a lot of use. I don't know if I could fire it up right now, but chances are good I can if it would get fuel, but we're not going to do that right now. The fuel's shut off. And it checked to minus 20 degrees, but this is something that's been sitting. I'd like to see, you know, like minus 40 around this area at least, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I know I'm probably checking the water floating on the top on that one. And outside here we got Ford F-250 Custom spray truck and that checked to minus 35 on that one. And over here we have John Deere 800 just checking agricultural equipment right now today. That was good to minus 40. is quite a strong tractor we use it for moving snow it's not quite as agile as the Oliver 1800 but they'll both be chained up for winter use probably feeding with the Oliver and if we have to push snow this is the one you choose it seems to have a little more power okay and that check to that only checked to minus five but I'm not going to make the decision to drain it out and start over on that. I'll have to see what uh, my dad says. If he says drain it and refill it, we'll do it. No doubt that takes, I don't know how many gallons, but I bet it's a few.
Then we got the 930 case. I don't know, we can't seem to take a lot of pride in this. It is our biggest tractor. It's in good.